Hello, everybody. Uh, we're doing something different for not this upload, but it was requested that I show everyone how to download the VR, the enhanced VR, or the VR, better VR mod for Subnautica. So, I'm not used to doing these types of videos, but it should be pretty simple. Uh, so you want to open your browser of choice, mine's Opera GX, then you type into the search bar Submersed uh, VR Subnautica, Subnautica mod. I think you could just probably search Submersed VR. You should find this GitHub link. Uh, you click it, it takes you to GitHub, of course, and um, you have the, the usual GitHub stuff. You have the files, installation, and setup, so you should already have Bepin X for Subnautica. If not, you go to Nexus Mods, not Blade and Sorcery, Nexus Mods, uh... Nexus Mods, um, page, I think, browse all, maybe. Yeah, so far, clearly Subnautica's dead. Clearly. Anyways, uh, I think it's probably gonna be the most... Q Mods, SML, all of this, it's not usable anymore. This is what you want. Um, I would suggest... Downloading Vortex if you haven't already because it makes mod modding for Bladed Sorcery, Subnautica, Sly Rancher super easy. And you can just click this button, click slow or flat fast download depending on what you have. And then, uh, yeah. Now, if uh, you're playing with, if you don't want to download a mod manager, uh... I'm, I'll be honest, I don't know how to download Bepin X for manually. I'm a little bit used to uh, stuff. Easy automated. Windows Vortex uh, manually. To install, manual download, yeah. Extract. So the usual, you extract the contents of the downloaded archive into the game folder. That just means the zip file and drag files and folders into the game folder depending so basically I think it's just you wanna uh oh yeah let's clear that that's for a thumbnail for like part 17 uh we slow download you we have bep and x right here see this is the thumbnail for that video I don't need this one uh, we probably extract this. Yup. Then we have this. We can copy. I will copy this to my Steam library. S Steam apps. You can, uh, you can find your Steam library, or your library for, uh, for Subnautica if you go over here. I'll, uh, get rid of those and update these. Uh, you go over here, we get, we go down to Subnautica, here it is, and then we manage, browse local files, and then here we are, we're in here. As you can see, uh, Vortex has already downloaded Bep and X, so I'm not gonna paste the stuff in here, but... If I were to, it would probably tell me that just to, like, that stuff needs to replace and stuff. So, yeah. That should be how you download uh, Bepin X. If it's not, my bad. My bad. Uh, now back to the main stuff. That's how you download Bepin X. Now you wanna... So you have Bepin X installed. Uh, make sure you don't have the old motion controls mod, which is SN1MC, I guess. And 
make sure you don't have the VR enhancements since they aren't compatible. That's also this one. So make sure you haven't downloaded those. And then, uh, you should install, no, wait, that's development, never mind. Make sure we got download the latest, Get, yeah, from GitHub releases, make sure the submersed VR, then underscore, and then the version. Don't download the source code. So, copy the whole, yeah, so you go to GitHub releases. This is the newest version of Submersed VR, uh, 0.16.1.6, yeah. Uh, assets, you click this, it downloads the zip file, uh, yeah. Then we want to pull this up, extract it, then you have... So, if you already have mo other mods installed, you're going to want to just uh, click Bepin X, Plugins, and then uh, copy the Submersed VR D D dot DLL. Uh, take it to your Subnautica folder. This is easier than pulling up Steam for me because Bepin X, Plugins, and then you'll see if I do this. Is submersedvr.dll is already there. Here it is. Uh, then once you have that done, uh, you could you don't need this anymore. And then Subnautica data. Uh, you're gonna want to copy um, from. You're gonna want to take uh, click Subnautica data managed and then copy this stuff. Take it back to your. Subnautica folder. Subnautica. Then you'll see Subnautica data. The same file name here. Managed. And then click this. It's already been added. So I don't need to. That's how you get that part done. So you can just delete manage now. And then for streaming assets. Steam VR. You're just going to want to take the Steam VR I don't know if we take the folder or the files in that folder. All right. If you uh, if you don't have a Steam VR folder in your Subnaut if you in your Subnautica Subnautica data folder uh, folder and in the streaming assets, then copy this. Take it to Steam or just do the other method or keep the file open actually. The, or the file for this, Subnautica data, streaming assets, then here's Steam VR. So I do this, it's already there. Now, if there isn't a, uh, wait, if there is already a normal Steam VR folder, uh, then you just do the thing we've done already and click here, copy all the contents over to the other one. This is, so you click this, and then, boom. And I think that's it. Uh, you launch, make sure you launch the game with X if you, uh, just, if you downloaded it, uh, for, if you, uh, if it's a new download, if you just, uh, installed it, you have to launch it first to have it create all the folders it needs. I think... It should create a code thing if, uh, if Bepin, that might be for Lethal Company only, I'm not sure. Here, let me check real quick. Uh, I'll just log on to Subnautica. I'm not sure if it will create a code or a little, like, Windows prompt thing. I don't think it does. I should, I think I put all the links for everything in the description. If I didn't, my bad. Whoopsie. Alright, I don't think it's launching a code file, so I just want to... Okay, well... Uh, this was probably... Oh, there we are. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, see, no code file...
if you uh once you have the submersed vr installed all you have to do is launch uh connect your connect your vr headset with your pc whether it be oculus or meta link or whatever it's called now or air link or you have a pc vr headset like a rift or something then you if you use air link or any of that you have to launch steam vr first you cannot run subnautica vr on just regular air link you have to uh launch steam vr on the air link on air link and then or uh uh oculus link like so if you're using any Oculus thing that doesn't automatically uh, connect you to Steam VR, you're gonna want to uh, open it first, and then you can open Subnautica. It should be VR in VR. Now I use Virtual Desktop because it's overall a lot easier to uh, manage. It seems to be more stable. I know there's a Steam VR app on the Oculus. I don't know if that has became more stable or what so if you have like fifteen dollars i you should just like uh go ahead and buy virtual desktop it's worth it that's how i record all well i don't record on virtual desktop but like that's how i play all my pc vr games from virtual desk desktop air link is kind of iffy most of the time and i don't and the I bought a Quest 3 or 2 for so I'm not attached to a wire while playing VR games. So uh normal Oculus Link is kind of redundant, redundant. All right, anyways, that's base that basically should cover all the bases. Uh so like I said, I don't usually do these types of videos, so I'm sorry if I miss something. Okay. My screensaver is kind of iffy sometimes, clearly. So, like the video if you got, if you, uh, if this helped you in, in, in any way to download Submersed VR for enhanced Subnautica VR with motion controls and stuff. Uh, if you want to check out more of my videos or watch my see or keep up to date with any of my series i do then uh hit this hit the subscribe button and hit, uh, hit the notification bell with that being said the only thing left to be said is glory to master koga have a good day and goodbye i hope this helped someone today mm -hmm.